Hello everyone, welcome to Commerce Piece. In this video, we will be learning the top 50 important banking abbreviation. This video is very important for all the students who are preparing for their banking exam, so stay tuned. The first term is ATM. The full form of ATM is Automated Teller Machine. The next term is DD. The full form of DD is Demand Draft. The next term is OD. The full form of OD is Overdraft. The next term is PAN. The full form of PAN is Permanent Account Number. PAN is a 10 digit unique alphanum alphanumeric number that is issued by the income tax department to the Indian taxpayer and this is the image of PAN card. The next term is TAN. The full form of TAN is tax deduction account number. Again it is also a 10 digit alphanumeric number that is that will be issued by the income tax department and it is to be obtained by all the people who are responsible for deducting the tax at source that is the TDS and who are required to collect tax at source that is TCS. The next term is EMI. The full form of EMI is equated monthly installments. The next term is OTP. The full form of OTP is one time password. The next term is LS. The full form of LS is liquidity support. The next term is CVV. The full form of CVV is card verification value. The next term is PIN. The full form of PIN is personal identification number. The next term is FD. The full form of FD is fixed deposit. The next term is NEFT. The full form of NEFT is national electronic fund transfer. So NEFT is an electronic payment system that is developed by RBI which will facilitate the transfer of funds by customers from one bank to another within India. The next term is RTGS. The full form of RTGS is real time gross settlement. So RTGS is an electronic form of funds transfer of payment system that allows instant transfer of funds across India. Next term is IMPS. The full form of IMPS is immediate payment service. The next term is LDR. The full form of LDR is loan to deposit ratio. So LDR is used to assess the bank's liquidity. So how it will assess the liquidity of the bank means it will compare the total loans of the bank with its total deposits and it is always expressed in terms of percentage. The next term is MICR. The full form of MICR is magnetic ink character recognition. So MICR is a code that is printed on the checks and it will enable uh, the identification of the checks and it is a nine digit code that uniquely identify both the bank and also the bank branch that is participating in the electronic clearing system that is ECS. The full form of CTS is checks truncation system. It is a check clearing system that is started by the RBI that is the Reserve Bank of India for faster clearing of the checks. The next term is LAF. The full form of LAF is liquidity adjustment facility. The next term is SDR. The full form of SDR is special drawing rights. The next term is UPI. The full form of UPI is unified payment interface. The next term is IPO. The full form of IPO is initial public offering. The next term is ECB. The full form of ECB is external commercial borrowing. The next term is IFSC code. The full form of IFSC is Indian financial system code. This code is very important when you have to transfer the fund online from one bank to another bank. Beside the name of the account holder, you have to provide the IFSC code. It is 11 digit alphanumeric code that is provided to each and every bank branch. And for transferring the funds, it is very important. And it is mentioned both on the checkbook and also on the passbook of the account holder. The next term is SWIFT. The full form of SWIFT is Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. It is a 8 or 11 characters code which helps in the international transactions and it ensures the safe and speedy international payments through the SWIFT system. The next term is BCI. The full form of BCI is Bank Identifier Code. The next term is SFMS. 
the full form of SFMS is Structured Financial Messaging System. The next term is FII. The full form of FII is Foreign Institutional Investor. The next term is FDI. The full form of FDI is Foreign Direct Investment. The next term is ALM. The full form of ALM is Asset and Liability Management. The next term is BHIM. The full form of BHIM is Bharat Interface for Money. The next term is NPCI. The full form of NPCI is National Payment Corporation of India. The next term is ECS. The full form of ECS is Electronic Clearing System. The next term is KYC. The full form of KYC is Know Your Customer. The next term is RD. The full form of RD is Recurring Deposit. The next term is Bank PO. The full form of PO is Bank Probationary Officer. The next term is LIBOR. The full form of LIBOR is London Interbank Offered Rate. The next term is MIBOR. The full form of MIBOR is Mumbai Interbank Offered Rate. The next term is TBs. The full form of TBs is Treasury Bills. Treasury Bills are the short term debt instruments that is issued in the money market and it is issued by the government of India. Presently they are issued in three tenors that is 91 days, 182 days and 364 days and they are the zero coupon securities which pays no interest to the holders and they are issued at a discount and they are redeemed at the face value at maturity. The next term is CRR. The full form of CRR is cash reserve ratio. The next term is SLR. The full form of SLR is statutory liquidity ratio. The next term is NBFC. The full form of NBFC is non-banking financial company. The next term is NIF. The full form of NIF is note issuance facility. A note issuance facility is a facility that is provided by banks to company who wish to raise capital by issuing short term securities or notes. The next term is CPI. The full form of CPI is Consumer Price Index. The next term is WPI. The full form of WPI is Wholesale Price Index. The next term is LAF. The full form of LAF is Liquidity Adjustment Facility. The next term is CD. The full form of CD is Certificate of Deposit. The next term is BCBS. The full form of BCBS is Basel Committee on Banking Supervision. The next term is CP. The full form of CP is Commercial Paper. The next term is NPA. The full form of NPA is Non-Performing Assets. The next term is YTM. The full form of YTM is Yield to Maturity. If you like today's video, then share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to Commerce Peace.